Hey everybody! Well today's video is a haul, gift, and product field video. So I'm going to start off with the items that I purchased. Um, I've actually been hauling sort of over the past, I don't know, maybe three, four weeks, sort of on and off. been putting things aside to do a haul video. Now I actually have enough stuff that I probably need to do two videos, but I'm going to start off with these. So the first thing that I wanted to share with you is I purchased the um, Hydramax Active uh, lip treatment from Chanel. Now I showed you in my last video that I got the uh, lip treatment in the stick form. I actually have it here so I can show you which one this is. And I use this in the morning um, when I'm getting ready and putting my makeup on and I bought the other one to use as a treatment for at night because it is pretty rich. It's much, definitely much heavier than the stick is. I mean, you really can't see anything. It's just primarily a white cream. But um, I started using this actually just last night, and I love this. This is just a great cream for using at night. And we have to keep those lips nice and soft, especially with Valentine's Day coming up. So keeping in mind of lips, the next thing that I hauled was a um, Elizabeth Arden, the 8-hour um, cream lip protectant. Now, one of the reasons that I bought this, too, is this is their 100-year um, anniversary. So this is like a special packaging that's come out with it. And I'll show you the package. Uh, the detailing is actually also on the inside. You can see it actually on the, go a little bit closer there for you so you can see that. Really like this. Now I have to say that um, I've tried both this one and the Chanel. I like the Chanel one a lot better, um, but this one has been around forever and just gets great, great reviews. But preference wise for me, I really like the Chanel one a lot better. The next thing that I picked up are two new Bobbi Brown eyeshadows. You know how much I love my Bobbi Brown eyeshadows? And I especially love the fact that I can find them on allcosmeticshosale.com, so they're a lot less money. I think they're 14, I think $14 at All Cosmetic Wholesale. So I picked up the Soft Peach. I'm really into sort of beigey, peachy colors with browns these days. So I picked that color up, which is a really pretty color. This will really go with just about any other color that you want to use in your crease. Or you can use it actually just on its own all over and just do a really nice um, eyeliner, which is pretty. And then I picked up Flint. So Flint is sort of a taupey sort of brown color. Another color that I've really been reaching for just for the past few weeks, just time and time again. So love those. Love her eyeshadows. Enough said. I think you guys have heard me say that enough. The next thing I want to share with you is another eyeshadow. I finally broke down and bought it. I've seen a million reviews on this color. I've actually looked at it quite a few times in the store. Um, I just wasn't really sure. And then yesterday I actually had somebody put it on for me. And you guys are right. It is a fabulous color. It's the NARS Ashes to Ashes. Love this for my crease. It is such a pretty, pretty shade. The really funny thing about this is when I first saw the size, I thought, my God, that's a real jip of product because here's the Bobbi Brown and here's the NARS. But this is actually 2.2 grams and this is 2.5 grams. So they actually pack quite a bit of product into this little container, but it is really tiny. The other thing that I picked up from Chanel is their nail color in black pearl. Oh my gosh, this is the most gorgeous color. This is going on my nails next. Now, it's interesting because they call it Black Pearl, but I think it's really a dark green color. Um, I actually put it on a piece of white paper to take a look at it, and maybe I'll put a picture actually at the end so you can see. But they have come out with some of the most beautiful colors, and I love their polish. I've had this polish on, I think, for three weeks with no problem whatsoever. Now, remember, I do get gel put on my nails, but even so, the color is just magnificent. The next thing that I picked up after seeing my friend Raul show it in one of his videos is the Sephora Professional Brush. It's number, is there a number? Maybe 45, I think. It's the Mineral Powder Brush. It looks like that. Now, you know I don't use um, that much... Uh, mineral powders, but I was really trying to see. I don't use a lot of finishing powders. Um, I just don't find I like the way that they apply on my skin. I think that my uh, foundations usually are okay on their own, but I do want to try using them for, you know, every so often I do get shiny areas I want to try. So I'm thinking maybe I'll give it a try and try a little lighter hand and use this brush and hopefully I'll be able to have some success with it. But this is a fabulous, I keep going like this, this is a fabulous brush. The next thing that I picked up is from the new line that I think a lot of people are having a hard time pronouncing and I myself actually called the counter again at Neiman's um, to ask them to pronounce it again for me and it's La Mate de Beauté. Um, terrible in French, I took Spanish, but I'm actually going to ask my friend Giada, a nautical but nice number one, to do a video on all the pronunciations because she always, oh my god, I just love to listen to her pronounce products. Half the time I think I go out and buy some of the products that she has because I just think they sound so nice. But anyways, I was online looking and I found the most gorgeous 
gorgeous new uh, contributor to YouTube. Her name is Kayla. I'll put a link down below and an annotation up here um, to her channel. And she's actually a makeup artist for the company. Um, I guess she's just started to do videos. So she did a video on three of the top products from the company that she thinks that everybody should try. So of course, I had to go out and give them a try. So the first thing is I got their mascara. It's an aubergine. Beautiful, beautiful um, eggplant purple color, which of course is not going to show. And the interesting thing about this line is this line um, is really sort of a line that is producing makeup that is supposed to be really good for you as, besides making you look really good. So in the case of, let me just read this because I wrote it down. In the case of this mascara, it has no tar in it and no mercury in it. And it's a beeswax um, oil base. So this is supposed to be um, pretty much chemical free. Um, it goes on really, really nice. I think maybe I'll do a tutorial and I'll use it because the color is magnificent. They also um, have it in jade and they have it in a navy blue, which is really nice. I love colored mascaras, especially in the summer. The next thing that I picked up from the line is one of their eyeliner pencils, and I got it in the color of Tamarack. Now, this has no wax in it and no oil in it. It's a water-based liner, um, and it's supposed to be really good for using on your waterline. This is the color. It's not really brown, it's more of like a coppery brown. It is just beautiful. It is such a soft pencil. And I really like the idea that there's not all these extra uh, chemicals and waxes, that, especially when you're going to go and put it in and tight line with it. So I'm really enjoying that. And the last thing that I bought from the line is one of their liquid liners. It's in Neor. And this is just like a teeny, tiny, thin felt tip pen. I mean, look at the size of it. Here's my hand and here's the pen. This goes on beautifully. I absolutely love this. Now, this is water resistant, not waterproof, which I really like better because I find that with a lot of my waterproof products, I have a much harder time getting them off, especially around my eyes, so I'm doing more tugging. So where this is water resistant and not waterproof, it's supposed to come out come off a lot easier, so I'm really enjoying that also. I'm going to use these a little bit more over the next few weeks and then probably do a separate review and maybe even a tutorial with it, but so far I'm really liking the company. So that's it for my haul, for this part anyways, and now I'm going to share with you a fabulous gift that I got, and it's from Kirsten in Germany. Her name is Rosalie, and she doesn't do videos, but I'll put a link to her channel anyways. Um, she found for me the Maybelline gel liner in uh, the blue. It's actually an 03 blue. So excited about absolutely how much I like the Maybelline gel liners when I did all those comparisons. But absolutely love this gel liner and the color is so pretty. It's not really like a dark navy. It really has a lot more blue tones to it. It is so, so pretty on. I've actually been wearing it. I don't have it on today, but since i um, received it. I've been wearing it every day. Love it. Now it comes the same way that it does in the States with a little brush to it and I just love it. The next thing that she sent me, I mean if I could come into that camera and give you a hug, I would come and give you the biggest hug. This, I absolutely adore this. This is a P2 eye souffle and I think I've heard people um, speak about it and review it before and Gina Love Peace and Lip Gloss, if you are watching, this is so, so a cream base shadow for you. It's unbelievable. The color is just gorgeous. No creasing, lasted the whole day. I've worn it, but again, this is another item that since she gave it to me, I've been wearing it nonstop. Here it is a little bit closer. Um, I love it. Absolutely love it. I love the application. I love the way that it wears. I love the color. As I said, I wore it once by on its own. And then the other times that I've worn it, I've actually put it over other shadows. And it, I can't say enough about it. I don't really know that much about the line. Um, I believe it's a drugstore product, um, but I'm not 100% sure. And the color, the product, okay, that's enough. Absolutely adore it. And the next thing that she sent me is a lip gloss, and it's from the company Manhattan. And I think this color is uh, 52W. I couldn't find any colors anywhere else on it. And I love this because it has the brush applicator on it, which I absolutely love. I'm wearing it today. And I just love the fact that these are products from Germany because I love the fact that it has all the German writing on it and explanation. So please forgive me, but I am going to try to tell you what this says on it because I just think it's fabulous. It says that this is the, a Hochglanz für die Lippen. Now, I'm sure all, everybody out there who speaks German is laughing like crazy, but I think I'm sort of close to it. 
Hochland für dein Leben. So, if you can leave me a video response, I wish that you would, but it just sounds so dreamy in another language, and love this lip gloss. Love the color, love the wear, love everything about it. I mean, it's just amazing that she picked these three products out for me, and I love every single one of them, and they're absolutely perfect for my coloring, perfect for the type of product that I would purchase on my own, and I can't thank you enough. And if that wasn't enough, hang on a second, she sent me one more thing, and I have been a really good girl not touching it because I wanted to share it with you guys in the video. She sent me this fabulous, fabulous bar of chocolate. So, Kirsten, thank you so, so much. There's a package on its way to you also. Wish I could send you fancy chocolate also, but you know us in the States. It's fast food and junky candy. Not that I'm complaining about it, but anyways, um, thank you again so much. I really loved everything, and it was just so thoughtful of you to send this my way. The very last thing that I want to share with you is a product fail. Now, I mentioned this to you in, I think, my last video, and it's the new Dior Show 360. I want to urge everybody to not walk, but run away from this product if you see it. Now, I love Dior Show Mascara, so I'm not going to tell you anything about the mascara. The mascara is still the same mascara. It's this applicator, which is just ridiculous. First of all, it's extremely noisy, which doesn't make any difference whatsoever, but it sort of gives me the indication that this is not going to work for a long time, number one. Number two, the idea of sort of holding it at your eye and waiting for it to twirl as you're putting your mascara on. I think most of us that are proficient enough with the way that we do our eye makeup do not want to be standing there letting this do its work for us. It's not like it makes a huge difference in your eyelashes. But I think the biggest fail is because of the way this applicator is, this clumps like nothing I've ever seen before. I've used it the whole week. I actually have to use it and keep um, lash, a um, eyelash separating brush with me and or a comb and constantly try to go through it. The other thing is it dries rock hard, so which scares the daylights out of me because I'm always afraid that if a mascara is that harsh on my lashes that it's so drying and so um, harsh to the feel that you could get breakage that way. So I absolutely hate it because of that. It's terribly overpriced. Of course they did it. I think it's about 10 or 12 dollars more than the regular Dior show because of uh, this wand mechanism. But again, don't walk by the counter if you see this. Run. And if you don't believe me, Google it afterwards and you will see there's just endless and endless bloggers and reviewers that are saying exactly the same thing. So really a huge product fail for me. So that's it everybody. That's my haul, gift, and product fail video. All three wrapped into one. Um, I hope everybody's enjoying their week. It's really calmed down here weather-wise for us. They're even talking about maybe it warming up a bit, so we'll see. Um, although I don't mind having a little bit more snow. It is winter after all. I know, don't, don't throw daggers at me. But uh, that's it, everybody. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.